everyone, so I'm here to share with you a crock pot lasagna, and I've never made this before, but I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube as well as on Pinterest, so I've been wanting to try it out for a little while. So over here, I have one pound of just ground beef that I seasoned with salt, pepper, and some Italian seasoning, as well as a jar and a half of just some regular spaghetti sauce. Um, I know I've seen a lot of recipes that call for like Italian uh, sausage and like tomato sauce and things like that. This is just what I had on hand, so I'm gonna use that. Also 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, which I just have the Great Value brand, as well as some Parmesan cheese, some mozzarella cheese, and then of course the lasagna noodles, as well as a crock pot. So um, I'm gonna leave the link down below for the recipe that I'm using today. Again, I've never done this before, so I, I'm just kind of winging it. So I thought I would film and share with you guys um, how it turns out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling everything into the crock pot. Okay, another step that the recipe says to do is to take the ricotta cheese, one cup of mozzarella cheese and one cup of the Parmesan cheese and mix it together. And then I guess that makes like the cheesy uh, layer that you layer into the crock pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna take a little bit of cooking spray and spray the inside of it so it doesn't stick. I guess that's good. And uh, I'm just gonna start layering in all of the uh, different layers for the lasagna and uh, hope I do it right. Okay, so I have it set to low, and it says to cook on low for four to six hours until the noodles are uh, tender, and then after that, you sprinkle an additional one cup of mozzarella cheese at the very top for like the last half hour and let it melt. So I will show you guys what it looks like whenever we are ready to eat it. Okay, it's been about four hours, and I just sprinkled the rest of the mozzarella cheese on top, and it looks like it's done. So I'm gonna cut into it and show you guys what it looks like, and then I'll leave in the description down below my thoughts on uh, the dish and whether or not I think you guys should try it. Okay, so here it is. It looks like lasagna, so I will have a piece and uh, tell you if it tastes like lasagna. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in another video.